Hi, how's everybody doing today? I'm here with a special video. I have uh, two packs of Prism, uh, Penny and Prism Basketball 2021. And I just seen a video of a guy opening one of these retail packs. And he actually pulled, pulled a redemption card out of Carmella, and, uh, Carmella uh, Ball uh, autograph. One of the biggest uh, cards I've ever seen pulled out of a retail pack. Uh, on YouTube at least. <laughs> it's pretty amazing. So, I was going to keep these sealed, but it's, there's redemption cards in here. It ain't going to be no good trying to get redemption cards a few years from now when they, they won't even have the autographs. And the fact that Carmelo Ball is actually not signed with Pentium and doing his own thing, that's another thing also. So, we're going to get into this. It's a basic set, 300 cards in a set, I think. And then uh, 100 rookies or whatever, it's usually like that. And they got the odds of special. But I collect the red, white, and blue ones. Let me see here. You can see on the bottom here. And I'm sure these are made in China too. Most of these cards are made in China now. So that's a whole different ball game. So we got a total of 24 cards. And then two bonus packs. So let's just get right into it. I wear gloves on these. Because uh, you never know what you're going to pull out of there. And then people are sending them in to get graded. So, you know, you... uh you definitely are going to ruin the cards by uh, touching them with your fingers and stuff. So this is card number 31. I like the way they did these. I have the Prism Draft ones. There's a green card in there. A lot of good second year cards in here. These aren't Prisms. These are just regular ones. And then uh, Johnson. He's good. Ball player cam. And then uh, Jalen Brown. He's been in the league for a little bit. Jordan Poole. Okay, and then P.J. Washington, second year card, and then Jordan Poole, Refractor. You see the difference? I'll show you. Well, anyway, it is P.J. Washington, but here's the same card. If you see it, you put the Refractor next to it, you can see the difference. Total is a big difference. So, we got a green card, and we got Russell. Well, this is going to go to paint sleep. Russell, Russell, uh, oh my God, say it isn't so. I knew there was a big card in here. And uh, we got Anthony Edwards, Instant Impact. And it's not a prison, I don't think, but it's definitely getting a paint sleeve and a top loader. Okay, let's here for a second. That's a nice card. I have a few Anthony Edwards red, white, and blues, and, and I have them for my set for the prison drafts. So they're kind of expensive, but this is not prism. This is the number one card in the set, though, in this particular one. So we're going to go ahead and put this in a top loader. You stand for that. That's a nice hit. That's really cool. I like these products. I got, like I said, the last one, the LeBron, uh, LeBall. Uh, I cannot ever say this guy's name. Lamal, Lamella Ball, a uh, green prism before. And then, as I said, these are going to go in tiny, tiny sleeves. I collect the I collect the prisms, the inserts and stuff, and the rest of the cards, second year cards I'll collect. But most of the other ones I do not collect. Uh, I may give them away, or I might just burn them on Thursday. Uh, or I might put the set together, depending on how much money it is. But, yeah, those are pretty cool. The inserts is what anybody wants anyway. They all, anybody want, all, all everybody wants is uh, numbered cards and inserts. They're not really concerned about putting sets together, so it doesn't really matter. And um, I got enough stuff right now. So this is pretty cool. There's another nice rookie card. He's a pretty decent player. And then another one, uh, the, the regular variation of Westbrook. So let's put this in a paint sleeve. Not bad, not bad at all. Instant impact on the first pack. And then that's not even the red, white, and blues. So we got two rookies, a huge, the number one pick. And let's get into the second pack. Pretty amazing. I, I got really lucky. Uh, I get really lucky with these uh, with basketball cars. I've gotten autographs and all kinds of stuff. Rudy Gay, he's been in the league for a minute. Blake Griffin, he was he's been in the league for a minute. Hayes, second year card. It's pretty cool. Kevin Knox. And we have a silver refractor. I don't know who that could be. Hopefully it's a, a ball or Edwards. He is. Mm. Miles Bridges, and then 
Matthew Della Venedova. It's a prism card. It's going to get a pink sleeve. And then the green one is Leroy Macarin. Second year card, I think. It's a nice insert. And then we got a nice, super cool, actually badass card. Number seven, Magic Johnson insert USA card. I'm liking that. And then Mark Cassell. And then we have our boy Lovachkovich. Or however you say his name. And then Andrew. So not bad so far. The big, the big one in the card. So a uh, big one in this, in this so far is that uh, Edwards Impact card. That's pretty, probably pretty expensive. So we got two rookies, two inserts, and two greens. And then we're gonna get into the. We got a Magic Johnson one. So anyway, it's pretty cool. These and these, the prisms are that what you're really looking for. Everything else is mass produced, and some of these inserts, if they're prisms too are good to have but the rest of them are mass productive like there are so many they make of them i can't even begin they don't even know how many is in the run to be honest with you and they are made in china it says usa but you see the chinese writing on the bottom there and then uh you know um a rod just bought pentium and uh, his hedge fund that they just bought that like this uh summer so not bad. So we're going to get into the red, white, and blue packs, which I love. Thompson, JJ Ruddick, too. Good boy. These are all get penny sleeves and put in my binder. Oh, my goodness. RJ Hampton. Nice rookie card there. The Nuggets. Pretty cool. Another rookie there. So, last pack mojo. Maybe we can get a ball to match the Edwards, but I'm not mad right now. I got a, I got a pretty decent, uh, you know, pretty decent pack. And my man Joe Embud, love me some Joe Embud. And then we have Kyle Gazuma. So, not bad. Uh, not worth $70. I paid seventy dollars for two packs off Josh, so he he could uh, go on his vacation or whatever, helping him out. And uh, unless you do get a big banger out of it, you are not going to make much off of it if that's what you're trying to do. But if you just collect the inserts and you collect the rookies and you sit on them, they'll be worth something in the future. God knows how long it will take for them to accumulate value, but usually the you know the Ed Edwards and Zion's and all them are going up in price and especially ball he is not signing anything with Pentium so uh, he is that I'm aware of he's gonna be doing his own thing so to do a little recap we got Jordan Poole silver insert and then we have Magic Johnson insert and then we have our rookie Hampton it's pretty cool that's going to go into a top loader actually and go in my mosaic and penny prism box that I have and then the rest of these that aren't rookies and just inserts will go in my binder that's a rookie that's a rookie that's an insert and like I said that's what they look like they're quite expensive these packs I don't know if you want to take a chance and get those for 70 bucks $35 a pack it's kind of steep right now but, you know, you can get, if you do get the, you know, you're looking for two players, really. Um, Ball being one of them, obviously. And then any, and then you have the special inserts with uh, LeBron James, which <laughs> I think he's a scumbag, to be honest with you. The guy can play basketball, but he's just a scumbag. I personally get rid of all that PC stuff. Time is not going to be kind to him in the future, that's for sure. This is not a prism, I don't think. No, but it is the number one card in the series, and it's Edwards, and we'll take it. So let me know what you guys think. I've seen some other guys opening the stuff, uh, opening these packs up, and I'll open some more stuff up. 
And uh, before we go, I was telling you about the, <clears throat> you know, I had this Joe Montana card as my rookie card out of my set that I've had. And then I was telling you guys in 2001, they made a reprint from Topps Archive. So this is what I'm thinking Topps is going to get back into doing. Since they're not doing baseball, they maybe they can get into ba uh, football again. But that's a special insert. It's been in this thing since 2001. I've not taken it out. I want it, and you can see it in small print right there. It's numbered to 94. And this is uh, 42 of 94. There was a sticker on the back of it. So, yeah. This is 2001, and then this is the original. And you see the difference. And this is an official reprint of the card. Like, it's official from top. So. And then uh, the other one that I was telling you about was this badass Kevin Winslow. Which this is a refractor also. This is like a prism refractor. So it's a very shiny. You can see it. It's immaculate. It's been in this case since 2001. And I won both of those cards out of packs. And then, uh, obviously, I have the Joe Montana. But I was telling you, I, got, I was telling you, ladies and gentlemen, uh... Before when I was making my video that um, <clears throat> I had showed the Montana and I was showing, telling you that they did a reprint of it. It's pretty cool. So thank you for watching. Let me know what you think about this uh, these prison basketballs. You know they worth the money. Although we did get a you know Anthony Edwards uh, impact. That's pretty badass. But it is worth seventy bucks because the other cards aren't really. Maybe the Hamptons were you know. No. I haven't really looked any of these up, so I know that the players that people are looking for are obviously LeBron James, uh, Edwards, and, and Ball, so, and then there's Redemption, so I had to open these up anyway, because if I was have a Redemption in these cards, in these packs, I wouldn't be able to redeem them later on in life, so, right now, I don't think that's bad, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So one pack on 13, 14. So out of two, 24 cards or whatever it was, it was uh, 27 cards. We got some pretty decent players. And if you're you know, a fan favorite of these guys, there are some second year cards in here and, uh, and some future Hall of Famers, obviously. And you might want to you know, keep a hold of them. But at the end of the day, they make so many of these things. It, it's just you're just looking for cards certain cards and that's what everybody's looking for and that's why i'm doing burns on thursday to get rid of the excess garbage that's in the hobby if the things i don't collect or don't want i'm gonna burn them <laughs> i'm not gonna pass this on to anybody there's too much grifting going on in this hobby and i don't really care what anybody says or thinks about what i do about that i've been on this you know been on uh doing this stuff for a few years now my sub count's low because I expose all these criminals that are doing criminal shit in the, in the hobby. People don't like it, and I personally don't care. I hope you lose all your money. I hope you lose your whole collection. I hope all that bullshit goes your way because of what you've done to the hobby. And you're actually, uh, when you subscribe to these people and do this type of stuff, you're encouraging this, and you're ruining a hobby. So, you, sow, you, you reap what you sow. So, um, I appreciate everybody watching. And let me know what you think about the products. And uh, we're having a giveaway coming up. So uh, please like and subscribe. And I appreciate uh, all the support. Thank you.